I'm John Cena, and this is my Road to WrestleMania. All right, Raw again. So is, like, Tony going to be in the storyline anymore, or is he just done with it? just felt like giving me some random Welcome army guys to love. Raw. We're back in the good old U.S. of A. And I think I speak for all the WWE when I say we had a great time at tribute to the troops. There is someone you can't speak for, MVP. He took his loss to Cena a little hard. MVP has to realize you can't win them all, King. Oh shit. It's the evil foreigner MVP. Alright, I'll admit it. John Cena beat me in tribute to the troops in front of this country's finest. But I'm filing a protest. I had sand in my eye, and the match should have been stopped. Then afterwards, everybody wanted to shake hands with Cena. Or get autographs from Cena. Or take a picture with Cena. John Cena is no hero. I'm better than him, just like I'm better than everyone in the United States of America. <laughs> uh, shit. I'm sick of being treated like less than the best. And I'm gonna do something about it. As of this moment, MVP is leaving the US of A. Matter of fact, anyone else in that locker room who is fed up, come with me. This is the last time you're gonna see MVP as a citizen of this country. I hear MVP Interesting right. storyline. I, for one, can't say I'm sad to see him go. This storyline actually has some promise now. Interesting. It's the Raw General Manager. What the hell's he doing out here to have a match for some the reason? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Blackpool, England, weighing 245 Poor William Regal. Pounds, William With the shitty Regal. theme song on this game. And obviously he's gonna turn his back on us because you know he is English, so he's a you know foreign brute. If you're not American, you're a bad guy. Yeah, but seriously, like I was saying about uh, King William Regal. King William Regal. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it said Raw General Manager William Regal, but whatever. Yeah, like I was saying, um, it was literally not you weren't allowed to be a face or a good guy. If you weren't American at one point in WWE, and no one ever talks about this except for me, but it was, it must have been around this time, uh, like 2009, 2008, it must have been around that time. John Cena, or not John Cena, Edge Heel from Toronto, Chris Jericho, Face, guess where he was from, Manhasset, New York. Chris Moa, face, Atlanta, Georgia. Christian, heel, Toronto. Hilarious. Sorry, William Regal, but you're no match for Super Cena. John Cena wins. Lol. We may have lost MVP, but as long as John Cena stays a U.S. citizen, I think we'll be okay. It's that type of attitude that made MVP leave in the first place, JR. Should be a shame. Please tell me I can make John Cena a traitor to the USA. That'd make it the best storyline ever. <laughs> All right, so uh, will MVP uh, be getting some more buddies in his anti-American campaign? You're watching Monday Night Raw. Our main event is a big tag team contest with some superstars who will be squaring off at the Royal Rumble. It should be a hot show. Speaking of hot, the Diva Search Contest is back on. WWE.com has hot photos of all the new contestants. Have you seen them, JR? Oh man, I almost phoned in sick to work today. We're all glad you decided to tough it out and show up, King. Oh shit, it's a manga. <laughs> ah, now, you manga. You manga, yes. I know you will be competing against John Cena at the Royal Rumble, so perhaps you want to soften him up tonight. 
Meanwhile, I can handle that tow rag Jeff Hardy. Go look at Issa! I'm going to assume that was a yes? Bloody hell! It's like teaming with a savage wildebeest! Still, I'd rather be on your side than against you. <laughs> you manga is probably my favorite thing ever, man. Fucking you manga. That's oh, so good. Hey, John, if you don't quit tonight, neither will I. Okay, thanks, Jeff. I just got something in my eye. It really freaking hurt. What the hell was that? <laughs> I think it was just an eyelash or something, but oh boy. But, you know. Matt Hardy doing some things. You know, Matt Hardy changing his character every fucking three or four years. Honestly, I don't think it would work in WWE. And honestly, I don't think it's that all amazing. But whatever. It's what's hot, so. But. I doubt they leave TNA to come work full time work schedules. I doubt that happens. I doubt it was beat up on. William Regal and Umanga. Look how fast you get a finisher with John Cena. It's crazy. Have fun. Attitude adjustment into the turnbuckle. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. Go for the pin. Fuck your rope break crap. These superstars may have different Oh. Five knuckle shuffle punch. I feel like I have to deliver a five knuckle shuffle now. Let's do it. Oh damn, here it is. You can't see me. Off the ropes. The shuffle and the knuckle. I'm gonna beat William Regal with the five knuckle shuffle and just piss everybody off. Game audio is really loud. I could fix it. Alright, Royal Rumble. Am I actually going to be in the Royal Rumble? For the first time in this playthrough? At least I think it is. I don't recall ever being in the Royal Rumble. We're finally here. It's the Royal Rumble. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is good old JR Jim Ross and all of my colleague, Jerry the King Law. This is one of the craziest crowds I've seen in a long time, JR. They're as ready as I am for tonight's action. We've already had some of the participants choose their numbers for the big Royal Rumble match. In all, 30 superstars from all brands will compete in the namesake contest, folks. But another intriguing matchup deals with John Cena against the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. Please choose a ball to get your place in the Royal Rumble match. Ah! Heal, Umaga! Save your energy for that miserable John Cena. You have bigger fish to fry than this freak, you manga. Let's get out of here at once. <laughs> Why would they choose Kane, of all people? And he already had his choice picked in the, in the cutscene, so... Now I'm confused. <laughs> what a weird cutscene. Cena, I thought it fair to tell you that I'm going to accompany you manga to the ring for your match tonight. It's more for your benefit than anything. Someone has to keep them from destroying you completely. All right, it's you manga, let's go. Eat a punch to the face. I know this man oh, would. Pick up. Uh, let's take my thought, bro. Why not? not let's see what we got here. Up to the top so rope with the big back suplex. A suplex. <laughs> Look at that no cell. Just like real life. Like I said before, Magus had one of my well, real awesome matches. No one ever talks about it. I can't, I can't remember the pay-per-view, like I've said before. But it's him against uh, John Cena in like a... 
I want to say false count anywhere match. It's pretty sweet. What I remember from mostly is Jeff Hardy going uh, down. Like they're on the staircase in the arena and he just slides down the staircase to clothesline him. Like down the rail. It's a stupid little spot. But for some reason, it's like it's like always planted in my mind. It's probably around this time, actually, 2009. Alright, up you go. F you. At least Umaga, you know, he takes he takes a beat and I'm like William Regal MVP. You gonna do it on live stream? Yeah, I'll probably uh, do uh, my career on, on live stream. I'm gonna do everything on li live stream now. Everything's not gonna be on Twitch and then eventually, you know, probably go over to YouTube. It really depends if people watch it on YouTube, I'll put it on YouTube. Like right now, like, you know, I've been doing Borderlands on here and no one's been watching Borderlands on YouTube, so it's like, why even put videos up? But I'll finish that series off and I probably won't put any other Borderlands stuff on my YouTube channel because no one cares to watch it. So. Man, I still <laughs> pit him with two FUs and he's still in orange. It's pretty crazy. Oh shit, it's MVP. Why MVP? Ah, why? Gathering. I'm about to get manhandled. John Cena don't get manhandled. John Cena manhandles. Even the odds with the chair. Hey, William Regal taunting. Oh shit, no. Yeah, you can't stop me. You ever see John Cena get beat up by three guys? It never happens, because it's impossible. Well, you all out. Umaga's still no selling everything. Freaking guy. Superman. Yeah. Can't stop John Cena. How am I still. I'm just like, no, no fucks given. Just beating up all of them. It's like real life, though. Can't beat up John Cena. He is all that is man. Oh. Well, there goes Cena's movie star good looks. He just broke my nose. <laughs> oh, oh no, you Samoan spike. What a disgusting display. I still don't get why that turncoat MVP is even here. <laughs> 